Ryan Wintel sits deep with Rinamota and Romain Sawyers playing in the more advanced midfield positions. Up top, Max Waters leads the line, flanked by Callum O'Dowda, and a first start for Jaden Philogene. On the bench for City, Jack Arnick, club captain Joe Rawls, Keon Etet, Shea Ojo, Jack Simpson, new signing from Glasgow Rangers, Ruben Colwell and Mark Harris. Well, for Birmingham City, there's no place in the 11 for former Bluebird Neil Etheridge. He's on the bench today, and it sees former Wolves long-term goalkeeper John Ruddy starting between the six. Darren Bond, the referee, sporting an Alice band and a silver Jack Grealish-style haircut. It's, uh, well, it suits him, I think. I think it does, yeah. Very slick in the middle. Mark Roberts, heart of the Birmingham defence, plays that forward. Keep rate. Stops uh, Bin's advances. That's kept in on the far side. And now Dion Sanderson plays the ball back to Ruddy. Marlon Romeo over halfway likes to come forward. Finds Calamo Dowda. Comes in onto his left foot. Good ball that into Sawyers inside the area. Little back heel to O'Dowda, it'll come to Wintel, who strikes just wide of the upright. Oh, very nice move there from the Bluebirds on this right-hand side. The Senate mark, Marlon Romeo, very, very comfortable coming forward on the ball, isn't he? Under no real urgency, just kind of strolls forward with it, like Perry and G used to do on the, the right-hand side of the back three last year. Good effort from Wintel, just dragged it wide a little bit, but strong start from City. Goal kick then. Ruddy in luminous yellow. Lovely touch again by Romeo. Continues his run and slides in O'Dowda with a great ball. He's into the area here, needs some help though. Pulls it back in for Philogene. Oh, it's a good save by Ruddy. And Waters is another save. Ruddy keeps Birmingham level. Here comes Collins down the left, midway inside Birmingham's territory. Up to level with the edge of the penalty area, taking on Maxine Collan. Does well, holds him up. Collins wins possession back and finds Ryan Wintel, central position. Now Philogene shoots from distance, that's Port. Goal kick. Good opportunities in quick succession there from City. Lovely ball to release O'Dowdler. A little suspicion of offside, maybe. That front foot of Callum O'Dowd is just behind that last man. Does well to hold it up and wait for the options, though, and it's two good stops from Ruddy in the end. Experienced goalkeeper. Yeah, it was uh, good work from Romeo and O'Dowd. I'm really impressed with O'Dowd as well. Though, in fact, those two have been my my picks really from the from the influx of new players. I think thus far. It's hard to uh, ignore this man as well. Jamalou Collins again bursting forward down the left into Philogene. Collins gets the ball back, gets a ball across Ruddy down again quickly to smother. Right. Yeah, pushing the back on then G in the first instance and then. Uh A bit of afters with Ryan Wintel. Oh, with Perry and G actually. Unneeded from Troy Deeney. Not necessarily a surprise though. Throw taken short. O'Dowda in the corner. Lays it back to Romeo. Comes to Rinamotta. Now Wintel. Square to Collins. Takes a strike, but it trickles wide of the upright. Most 
players either side, you know, Dowder and Filicino are quite as close to him as perhaps Waters would like. Good composure from Alsop. Now City build again from deep. Collins, oh, nice first-time ball out to Philogene, keeps it in play. Wintel. Now Dowdo on this near side. Back into Wintel. Lovely ball in again, oh, Dowdo into the area. A cross goal! Jaden Philogene with his first goal for Cardiff City and the Bluebirds lead by a goal to nil. How many times have we seen Ryan Wintle try and feed that ball to Calvo Dowda? 17 minutes gone, it's happened three or four times. Excellent work from O'Dowda. Shrugs off his man like he's not there. Beautifully placed from Wintle. He's got options in the box, Waters is there, but Philogene at the back post is the man. Gets that easy tap in. It's been deserved and it has been coming. Rubens lead. So clever from Wintle. Gave his opponent the eyes, a slide drill pass through to O'Dowda. Then a lovely ball across the box. Philogene couldn't miss. City lead after 17 minutes here by a goal to nil. Lovely touch from Romeo in towards O'Dowda. City have had joy on this right-hand side. It's come back to Sawyers, to Waters. Sawyers now to Rinamata, good strength. Can't pick out Sawyers a second time, though, and Birmingham clear. That's good play from Hogan to Bakuna, and now Dini. Hogan's through here as he in behind Collins. Into the area, recovery tackle from Jamalou Collins. And from distance, that looked remarkable. It's come an awful long way, Jamalou Collins, to come and claim that ball. And looks to have done a superb job of it as well. Sets that danger early in a foot race with Hogan from virtually the halfway line. It's around the side of the striker, just nudges the ball onto Scott Hogan's foot and into the safe arms of Ryan Alsop. Did really well, Collins, to make up for. Now Collins, back to Allsop. And G. Up to Waters, good control from Waters, and a return ball is good. But Rinamata just couldn't carry it off, but got back to it brilliantly. Now here's Sawyers to Philogene in some space, edge of the area. Onto his right foot, filaging. It's saved this time, though, by Ruddy. Well, excellently done there. It's again down this right hand side where City are looking really threatening. O'Dowdy does so well to make the space for Waters to come into. He feeds Renamotto, somehow gets that ball back. Excellent tenacity from the midfielder there. Stood on the ball, I think, in the first instance, but then slid in to win possession back. I think Jamie Filaging just. Took the wrong option by the time that play had slowed down, should have laid it off and moved possession on. John Reddy all the way out of his goal. Goes long towards the edge of the city area. Dini got something on it, keep right. Takes it high into the sky, it falls on the edge of the city area. In a motor clears only as far as trusty. Now Plaquetta up against Romeo, down this Birmingham left, in towards the area. Cross goal, comfortable for Allsop.
Long kick out, Sanderson underneath it, hooks it away, only as far as the omnipresent Ryan Wintle. Philogene, level with the edge of the box. Tries to advance into the area, Maxine Collin back there is able to clear towards halfway where Collins gratefully gathers and City can build again here through keep rate. Sawyers. What a lovely ball. Collins is into the area here, across goal, it's put behind. Oh, it hasn't gone behind, in fact, Ready gathers. Collins right to play it quickly. But, uh, the Birmingham stopper able to gather comfortably. Waters is in here, edge of the area. Max Waters! Oh, he's put it wide. O'Dowda played him through. It's a corner. He's got a hand to it. Again, Renan Motors won that ball in midfield. That's what he does so well. And O'Dowda breaks forward. Good run from Waters. Held his run well. He's just stuck that leg out, gambled on where the striker's going to go. And it is a good stop. A bit more composure and a little bit of skill there, and he could have rounded the goalkeeper Waters and, and had an easy tap in, but a good save nonetheless. Romeo to take. And Sawyers. Snap back to. Perry and G, keep right fear this man back. A, oh, sold a dummy there to Hogan. To keep City on the front foot, Philogene square to Wintle, keeps that alive and quickly passes it on to Sawyers, comes in field. On his left, now back onto his right, now finds Romeo, level with the edge of the box, he comes inside. Left footed, couldn't keep that down. That's into the stand. Nice build up play though, and it gets a round of applause from the manager. Lovely two footed passing from Ryan Wintel. I think Birmingham City are going to have to change things up in the second half in terms of formation because they've got two strikers up front who aren't offering very much. Full stop. To keep Ray and Wintel comes to collect. Winamata, lovely turn to get away from James with ease. Waters into O'Dowda down this right hand side again into the area. O'Dowda and now Waters. Oh, he fell over the ball. It was on his unfavoured foot. In fairness, he just wanted to try and get it onto his right, but for Max Waters this first half it's just everything he's tried he's gone against him again he holds it up well plays the right pass straight into the box it's just maybe a little bit on that ball from Callum O'Dowda he's not expecting it perhaps has to stretch for it doesn't he Max Waters Turned by Sayers. Three, so Dowda. Still going, oh Dowda. Can he carry the ball with him? He finds Rina Motta. And keep Ray. Is there one last attack in City in this game? Oh, it's a lovely pass. Collins inside the area. It's an offside against Jamalou Collins. Bluebirds get us underway for the second half. Attacking the Canton stand, away to our left as we commentate on it from this position.
Jean-Luc Collins. Lifts it in towards Harris, who controls in the area. Plays in Philogene into the box. Comes back to Philogene inside the area. Birmingham head away. Birmingham just look really sloppy and lethargic. They've started the second half in the way that they ended the first. Here's Rina Motta into the area. Square to Calamo Dodo. It's well blocked in the end by the retreat in there. Alfie Chang, I think it was. And Birmingham come away down the right. Bakuna. Keeper holds him up. It comes back to Bakuna. Square to Alfie Chang. Quintal, lovely first time ball and great control from Harris. And he slides it out, Dowder! And Ruddy saves, that would have been special. Football from the Bluebirds, isn't it? Purpose and attack. Instant impact from Mark Harris. And there we are, there's that run in behind that we were asking for. Good save once again from Ruddy. He's keeping his side in it at the moment. Fouled. Free kick, uh, sorry, throw has been given though to the visitors. Collin, good ball that, round the corner for Hogan. He's got away from Kipre, who's taken him to ground, and it's a penalty kick. Is it? Goal kick, I think. And a yellow card for Hogan. Well, I mean, first of all, Kipre is trying to play outside, and I think he's got a case there. The linesman didn't, to my eye, look anywhere near up to the play. Crucially then, the defender's caught up with Scott Hogan. Well, yeah, I, the referee's pointing for a, a, a free kick. I thought he was pointing to the spot. He's booked position for Birmingham. Up to Williams. First time ball. Hogan gets in behind. Keep Ray into the area. Hogan square across goal. Brilliantly read by Marlon Romeo. That was a goal saving challenge, and he's hurt himself, the right back, down inside the area. Hogan in for that penalty shout for Birmingham in behind Kipre. Trying to play that line again, City's number 23, and he's looking bemused at the linesman as to why that call hasn't been given. I mean, he miles off to my eye on that yeah. quick cross in the for a split second there. In all fairness, I'm not sure if Nitet or, or Harris could have clipped that ball over to him. Plenty of bodies in their way, but here comes Shea Ojo back from his warm up. I think he'll be introduced pretty soon. Great play from Wendell. Here's Colwell trying to find some space in the middle, twisting and turning. Oh, and now releases a great pass to Mark Harris. Comes in towards the area. Harris goes for goal. That's it. Oh, he's put it wide. Wow, what a move. Credit, first of all, to Ruben Colwell. Had the easy pass, didn't want the easy pass. Excellently found Mark Harris out on that far side. He does well as well. Cuts inside and it's a chip ball to the back post. Oh, there's no other way to say it, Mark. He should score unmarked. Mark, Mark Harris was celebrating as we all expected to see the net ball. Jatet put it wide from a yard out. And that should have been it. City's only real attack that I can recall in this second half. Just got to not let that count. Not let that mistake affect the Bluebirds play in the next 10 or 11 minutes. Need to be positive. A bit create more chances like that. Free kick to Birmingham. They take it quickly. Maxine Collan now playing sensibly as a defender, usually at right wing back. Sanderson on halfway. A 
Ojo is ready to come on for City. Birmingham, meanwhile, are on the attack with Plaquetta. Plucks it out of the sky. Level with the edge of the box, far side the Birmingham and left in front of the visiting supporters. Marlon Romeo stands tall. I think Plaquetta took it in the face on the ricochet. City, meanwhile, bursting forward. Rina Mota to O'Dowda. Edge of the area, Callum O'Dowda still go, goes down! Oh, referee has not entertained it, but that looked like a penalty kick to me. There was surely contact inside the area. Well, if not in the area, then certainly on the edge. There's no way that was a foul. Wintel now, it's hit! Oh, he's... Can't get to it at the uh, near post. Comes back to Mark Harris. City looking for that knockout punch. Birmingham on the ropes all of a sudden. Kipre into Colwell. Harris. Colwell again. It's being pulled back there in the middle of the park. Referee, let's play continue. City in possession. Romeo with space. Bags off it out on that right-hand side. Runs in towards the corner of the area. Romeo goes low! And it's just wide. Atet was sliding in there. Couldn't get to it. Big, big chances for the Bluebirds, but should we have had a chance from the penalty spot? I think we're going to see the Romeo chance here, but we'll see if we play the penalty. It's a gamble on that. Here it's it's Callum O'Dowda, he's been excellent this afternoon. Let's have a look at that chance. Yeah, it's a penalty. Should have been. Absolutely. Absolutely a penalty. Advancing into the box. The player's trying to make amends. Doesn't get any of the ball. Clips O'Dowda's foot. Clear as day. Callum O'Dowda is applauded. Off the pitch, with stand innovation for the Irish international. <laughs> Harris hooks that away. Comes to James, though, and he finds Plaquetta. Goes for goal from. But way out there, never ever threatening Ryan Allsop. All the way back to Allsop. Tet. Well, somehow picks out Marlon Romeo there. City still. So is Ojo. Here's Romeo. Now Ojo again. Still coming in field. Goes for goal. Oh, it's just wide of the upright. Ruddy was rooted. Glimpse of what Shea Ojo can do. Quiet since he's come on, but it's his first real opportunity to drive in a defence. A lot of power on him, but just clipped it towards goal and it's not far away. Does clear his lines out of play into Birmingham territory in the final minute. Here come Birmingham once more, Lecco, the former Charlton man, up against MG into the area, Lecco, still going. Plenty of City players back, Lecco now gets his shot off, City block it, Marlon Romeo, who's been excellent today, comes away with it, and Shea Ojo is fouled on halfway, and that should be that. Yellow card. Maxine Collan. Free kick then to City. Allsop goes out to take it. This will go deep towards a corner, I fancy. Referee has a look at his watch. We've played over the six minutes, coming up to seven, in fact. There will be 
That was expected with a couple of breaks in play during stoppage time. Free kick to Birmingham. 20 yards inside uh, their own territory, tight on that far touchline. Darren Bond has another look at his watch. And now he blows the full-time whistle to signal another three points for the Bluebirds at home. It's uh, Jaden Philogene, the match winner today.